welcome back to what's in your yard today we're back out in the garden with the white weasel patrolling amongst us and we're looking at something called the mock strawberry and it is down here it might be a little bit hard to see because it hasn't fruited yet but it is starting to flower so if you come in here amongst the clover this is our mock strawberry so you have your three petals very similar to a strawberry but you have a yellow flower this one's closed right now since it's drizzling a little bit and a real strawberry would have a white to an almost pink flower it still spreads via roots you can spot the leaves in amongst the clover and when it gets later on into the season you'll see small fruits that look very similar to strawberries only they aren't very juicy they're not very sweet they're kind of dry they are edible in fact i've taught my dog to eat them they have been used to make a poultice for skin ailments or rashes however there have been cases of people being allergic to mock strawberries so as always be very careful whenever you try a new food fruit whatever you would like to call it they are native to East and South Asia, but they have been naturalized in the United States. So they're not an invasive, but they are not native here, much like our dandelions and other things. They were brought over here as another source of food for our pollinators. And because the little red fruits, once they're in your yard, look very pretty. This is in the front side yard, and this is our strawberry patch. This is the cultivated actual strawberry, which that mock strawberry is trying to imitate. So you can see some of the differences from earlier. They have similar leaf shapes, and they do come in the three. However, the mock strawberry is very, very small and really close to the ground versus our cultivated strawberry is really is much higher. And if you look, this one doesn't have a bloom, but it does have the baby strawberries coming. They hang off versus in the mock, it's just kind of pushing up out of the ground because it's so close to there. But if you look over here, you'll see that the blooms are similar in shape, but the real strawberries have white or pinkish petals to them versus the all yellow flower of the mock strawberry. We do have wild strawberries in the United States, particularly alpine strawberries, but they look a lot more like our cultivated variety with being taller off the ground and having miniature sized strawberries versus the weirder looking mock strawberries. Can I help you? Ma'am, they're not fruiting yet. You can't eat them yet.